Manchester United have just been absolutely pumped by West Ham at the Olympic Stadium. I was going to do an immediate match reaction straight after, but I wanted to let the results settle for like an hour, hour and a half, just to see if what I was feeling at the stadium is exactly how I feel now, and nothing's changed. I really think that Jose Mourinho has lost it as Manchester United manager. Man United needed a reaction against West Ham after everything that's gone on this week, from the loss against Derby to stripping Popper of the captaincy, the madness that's come out from that video in training of Mourinho talking to Popper, the whole squad, Popper, Mourinho, every player needed to respond to that by beating West Ham, who up until the Chelsea game and the Macclesfield game have been absolute shit this season. But instead, Man United got played off the park at West Ham. If I wanted a reaction, I couldn't have got anything less than what I saw in that first half. 2-0 in at half-time. And then at half-time, you're thinking, maybe there'll be a reaction at half-time. No. Came out. Yes, Rashford came on, made the difference 2-1. But then they went down the other end, other end of the field and made it 3-1. And just everything about that game was just shit. An absolute shambles. From setting up with four central midfielders against a team with Mark Noble in and somehow not controlling a central midfield to having no width because Shaw and Young really weren't doing it on the fullback positions to having Lukaku making no movement whatsoever, Paul Popper doing absolutely nothing in midfield. But I don't really want to talk about individual performances in this game. I just feel like Mourinho now has lost it. If there was ever going to be a performance where the players really showed and turned up for their manager in support of him, it was this game. After everything that's gone on this week with Derby and all the shit that's happened in training, and pff, nothing. It feels like the players are almost downing tools, just like Chelsea's players did before Mourinho got sacked, just like other players have done beforehand. I don't know. I'm just a bit lost for words of what I've seen today. I've seen some bad performances. You know, 2-0 away at Spurs is probably the worst away end I've ever been in. But pff, this game was close. Arguably worse. The away end was poor, and it's just symptomatic of everything that's going on right now at Manchester United. We are really a club in free fall. There's nothing really right about it at the moment. You know, the fans aren't happy with what they're seeing on the pitch, understandably so. They're not happy with the manager and the, the way he's portraying himself and everything that's going on with Man United right now. I really don't want to be overly too fucking reactive, but it's impossible to not be massively frustrated and reactive with what we've just seen against West Ham. Fucking hell. Mark Noble got man of the match. The guy's 97. Zabaleta had a fantastic performance. Got an assist for their first goal. He's 104. United today were just... For me, it was the biggest indicator that I don't think Mourinho is going to be able to turn this around at Manchester United anymore. If the players really wanted to show that they supported the manager, that they were going to fight for the manager and fight for the shirt that they are wearing with him in charge. Today was that day. Instead, Paul Pogba, taken off, rightly taken off, absolutely shit. But I don't think this game was down to individual performances. I think this game was just down to the illness I feel that is going around the club right now. And I don't think that beating Valencia is going to change that. I don't think that losing Valencia is going to change that. Unfortunately, I really do feel now it's it's more of a, a when and not if Jose Mourinho gets sacked as Manchester United manager. And that scares the shit out of me as a United fan because it's, yeah, it's bad now. But who's to say that sacking Jose Mourinho and getting someone else in is going to change and solve our problems? I really, really don't think it is. But unfortunately, United fans are being placed between a rock and a hard place. And the hard place is keeping Jose Mourinho for a whole season. And what we've seen in the re re response and the attitude from the players is that they're just, not in any they're just not in it anymore. The players aren't playing for United. They're not playing for Jose Mourinho. And as soon as you can properly see that as a fan, you just know that time's up. So I want to know what you think in the comments below. But for me, I wanted to just relax a little bit after the game in terms of doing a reaction straight away because it would have been too emotional. But nothing's changed. I don't really feel that Jose Mourinho has the ability now to take this team forward. I don't know what it is that's caused it the whole way through, but I now just, I don't have faith that Mourinho can steer this ship in the direction it needs to be steered. And unfortunately for me now, 
it's a case, of, as I said, of when and not if Jose Mourinho gets sacked as Manchester United manager. But let me know what you think in the comments below. But that was a fucking shambles of a performance against West Ham.